my mind is it's struggling to truly grasp the significance of this incredible battery breakthrough. Why? Because it's relevant to you. There's a good chance that at some point in your life, you will own a car using this battery technology. It is currently being manufactured by the world's biggest battery company. And it is the battery technology that's more than likely to be in Tesla vehicles next year. It's already in EVs today. Today, and this is CATL battery technology, it's lithium ion phosphate. It enables charging speeds of over 500 kilowatt. Now, the thing is, that sounds great. That's your theoretical peak charging point, right? So if a company tells you, oh, look, Hyundai, Ionic 5, Ionic 6, whatever it is, Porsche take and look, it can charge to 350 kilowatt speeds. Well, generally, to be honest, they can't hit that speed at any point. But if they do, it's only for a couple of seconds. And then the peak charging rate then comes down, 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 down. However, this is about to change because these new charging speeds actually are insane. The charging speed after the vehicle has tapered off is still over 350 kilowatt. You, charging speeds will be irrelevant. I mean, you're talking, this is no longer a story. If you have these cars, which we will soon, the whole topic of how fast is your car charge? How long is it going to, oh, how long is it going to take you to charge? Or oh, how long is your range? No one's going to care. It's going to be irrelevant. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Lee Auto have just revealed the Lee Mega. Uh, Lee Auto actually sent me an email recently saying, would you like to come and visit our factory? Check out this, this new EV and check out this battery technology. So uh, I would love to, but currently I, I can't for reasons that I've mentioned before. But yeah, maybe, maybe things will change at some point and I'll be able to go and see them. The Lee Mega that's been tested, we've seen this working in real life. Well, it can charge at 552 kilowatt, even when the battery reaches 80%. So normally when your battery pack hits about 80% in terms of charging, it will actually slow down massively. So even batteries that charge at say 350 kilowatt theoretical peak maximum, which probably only be charging at about 50, 60, maybe maximum 100 kilowatt when they hit 80%. This doesn't do that. This charges at 315 kilowatt charging speed, even after your battery pack hits 80%. Now, theoretically, you could charge your battery in about 12 minutes. I've worked out using this charger, your entire battery, not just to 80%, but your entire battery. The video that Lee Auto showed shows their new EV. And by the way, this is Lee Auto's first actual electric car. All their previous EVs, all their previous cars they sell are actually plug-in hybrids. It charged from 10 to 80% in 10 minutes. From six to 80%, it was 11 minutes. That's amazing. That is 77.3 kilowatt hours of capacity in 11 minutes. Now, the thing is, say um, the average electric car has a battery size closer to 65 kilowatt hours. So you can see how it's actually possible you could charge that battery to say 90% in around 12, probably 12 or 13 minutes. Now here's the thing, until the battery reached 60%, so between five to 60%, it's still charged at over 400 kilowatt the entire time. It never slowed to go underneath 400. Now these are incredible batteries from CATL. During the 60 to 80% charging period, it was still charging at over 300 kilowatt. Over 80%, it reached 315 kilowatt. The auto broke the maximum charging capacity record held by the Xpeng G9. This, well, the Xpeng G9 can charge at a maximum capacity of 445 kilowatt. To give you an idea on how this compares to other fast, fast charging EVs, the Lotus Elytra, maximum input, maximum charging speed is 430 kilowatt. The Porsche Taycan can do 270 in the real world. And the Mega comes with CATL's new Kirin battery. It has a charge rate of 5C, they call it. And the company previously announced that the Li Mega could add 500 kilometers of range in 12 minutes. So CATL manufactured this battery. It has a theoretical energy density of around 450 kilowatt at the cell level, not at the pack level, at the cell level. But either way, this is the battery pack that everyone on the internet, everyone on YouTube is saying, hey, this changes everything. It makes 
it possible for us to have airplanes that are fully electric? I mean, big airliners, you know, commercial airliners carrying hundreds of people. What we needed, according to Elon Musk, was energy density of around 400 kilowatt. And this apparently has that. And we can't verify that. I don't know if that's actually verifiable, but that's what CATL says. And CATL isn't a company known to lie about things. They're the biggest supplier of Tesla, their batteries, and the biggest battery manufacturer in the world. In fact, they're the biggest battery manufacturer in the world, period. So the thing is, this probably sounds wonderful. You're thinking, well, where are you going to charge this, right? How's this going to work? Well, you've got a good point there. The reality is that really, there's very few charges in the world that can charge at these speeds. That will change in the future, but today that's the case. The fastest current charger in the world is made by Huawei and it's located in China. It's a 600 kilowatt supercharger. So that's how we know that this car can charge at that speed because it was used to charge the Li Auto Mega to prove their point that they weren't lying about it. The new minivan from Li Auto called the Mega is built on their 800 volt platform. And because of their this 5C battery or the Kirin battery from CATL, it can actually charge to 50% in seven minutes. And it's a pretty big battery in this car though, keep that in mind. And it charges to 75% in 10 minutes. Li Auto haven't actually been making EVs up until now because they believed that it made more sense to have a plug-in hybrid with basically an electric car with a very, very small motor that's used essentially as a generator for when the batteries needed more energy for them to be recharged. So that's the route that they've followed. And it's actually worked pretty well for them. They're one of the biggest sellers in China now. But Li Auto have just come along and said, what we're telling you, it's no longer the case because now with this battery technology, there's no reason for us not to make EVs. In fact, uh, let's move on for plug-in hybrids. It's now time to go EV, pretty much EV only. And the reason is because of battery technology like this. And that leads me to my point here. Neo says battery swapping is the future of the EV industry. And so do many people. They believe that driving in, um, getting a battery swapped out of your car, getting a new battery pack put into your car is a good solution. Now, one of the benefits of this is, of course, you can get a quick swap over of a battery. There are some downsides. It's more expensive to manufacture this kind of service, this product, the whole stations themselves. The You can't have a structural battery pack. The cars become heavier. Uh, and the reality is most of the industry hasn't actually built out these swapping stations. So it would take a long time for this to happen. And I think now that we have this, these better batteries, and I've been saying this for a couple of years now, we don't even, the concept of battery swapping no longer makes sense. So a bit of a waste of money, in my opinion, for NEO to continue to invest hundreds of millions of dollars into their swapping stations. And obviously they're constantly trying to raise funds from the private industry, private sector to maintain their spending habits. And their spending habits, largely a lot of that is coming from building out swapping stations. But now with these kinds of batteries, I really don't think those are necessary. Incredibly though, Li Yang in China announced that they will invest one and a half billion US dollars to build a network of 3000 superchargers in China by 2025. In other words, Li Auto are now building these superchargers capable of charging their EVs at incredible speeds of over 500 kilowatt. The first batch of 300 superchargers, according to carnewschina.com, will operate by the end of 2023. So they've got a couple of months to go. And they're saying they're going to have 300 chargers ready to go before the end of this year. So keep in mind, these batteries are made by CATL. CATL is Tesla's biggest battery supplier in the world. And these batteries are amazing. I'm just thinking, imagine all the possible applications we have for this battery technology. I mean, for example, you know, you have a phone, it lasts for a few days. You have a watch, it lasts for a few days. But if you were to use these batteries in your phone and your watch, you could potentially triple the lifetime of your battery in terms of how long it lasts. Really, this battery technology is completely game changing. Let me know your thoughts though in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.